away, Bill. No, no you shouldn't be like, alone. It's better than being with you. I'm not going to leave you. No, I'm not. Please. Alone. No. Blake. And if you like me the way you say you like me, then you will leave me alone, please. I can't be around you right now. Why right? not? Because Why you not? confuse me, Ben. How? Tell me. Please just go. All right, all right. Well, then, listen, I'll tell you, because I touched something in you, right? Something you never knew existed, or maybe something you forgot. You don't know anything about me. Oh. I know that everyone has needs, Blake. And some of those needs are in conflict with others. But you're not the only person in the world who feels I'm not conflicted like this. about anything, Ben. I love my husband with all of my heart. Yeah, well, there's more to a person than just heart. And I'm not just talking about physical attraction here. I'm talking about minds and souls that connect on a deeper level. Yes, but Ben, you don't have a soul. I don't think you know a thing about me either, Blake. Then why are we having this conversation? Because you don't want me to walk away this second any more than I want to. Because I get you to feel in a way that you haven't felt in a long time. I have a hold of your imagination, and I have news for you. I'm not going to let go anytime soon. You are so full. I'm full of a lot of things. And you'll get to know them all. Just go to hell, then. Well, only if you come with me. Mother, how is she? Is the baby OK? We don't know yet. I can't take this waiting anymore. This is horrible. I mean, especially. Someone you love so much and a sweet, innocent child. Mother, it's going to be all right. You know, I mean, whatever happens, everything's we're going to get through this. She's going to be all right. She's she going to be okay. She will. When they wheeled her past, I... Uh, I just wanted to pick her up and hold her and tell her that everything was going to be all right. And I couldn't because I had all those wires and tubes and everything. And... I know, I know. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but Dinah, I have some papers I need you to sign now. Uh, okay. It, it, excuse me for just one second. I'm sorry. sorry. No, you, you're really amazing to be able to focus on business at a time like this. Yeah, well, the world doesn't stop just because a child needs a new kidney. This is insane, Michael. I want Reva back, there's no question about that, but to do it this way, to, uh, to grow, uh, uh, clone. The word is clone, Josh. And it's not a bad word. The new Reva, Josh will be a living, breathing human being, just like she always was. <laughs> Not some macabre creature stitched together by some mad scientist. Uh, you know, I realize that you're trying to help me out here. But it's just so unbelievable. I know. That is how I used to think about cloning, too. Everybody did. It seems like something out of a science fiction movie, I know. I just want my wife back. I, I want my children to grow up with their mama. I, I want her to be there with them for their first day of high school. And <laughs> I want her to yell louder than any other mom at the soccer games and uh, help Mara pick out her prom dress. And, and help Shane through the first time his heart is broken. She can be there, Josh. So you say. How long will it take? How long? Um, from the beginning until she's uh, 
full grown. Josh, that's gonna happen very, very quickly. Probably a few weeks. Weeks? Maybe less. You can't, <laughs> you can't be serious. You're telling me I'm gonna have Reva back? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In a few weeks. <laughs> you, you said you had some uh, drug that accelerates growth, but I, I never dreamed. Yeah. How, did, how will you stop it? A few days before she reaches the age that she now is, or was at the age of her death, I stop administering the drug. And that will work. Her metabolic process slows and that, in turn, retards the aging process. There's a problem, though, Josh, that, that you need to figure out some way to cover for the fact that Reva has been away for so long, some way to explain that. I think I can do that. Okay. I can, uh, I'll think of something. Any other problems I need to know about? No one can know about this. No one. I understand. Josh, if anyone were to find out about this, you have to realize... Michael, no one's gonna find out from me. I, I can't imagine what it would do to my children if they ever found out that their mothers... Uh... <laughs> I, I just... I, I can't fathom what would happen to them. If they... <laughs> What the hell are you two doing in here? Well, I'm waiting. For what, Alan? For you to tell me what you two are doing in the Spalding lab this time of night. I just had some work to finish up, and Josh just dropped by to say hello. Your work for me, Michael, is finished. I told you I was shutting down this lab, remember? Alan, there's some projects of my own. Some projects of your own on my time? Alan, I, I didn't expect to be paid for them. Well, I hope work. not. And as for this lame store that Josh yeah. dropped by to say hello... Well, it comes clear now. So you two have been drinking, huh? <laughs> so what if we have been, Alan? Well, since when did you two become drinking? What we are doing in this lab right now is not your business. It is if you're boozing on my property, I, Josh. I just stopped by to check the place out. I'm thinking about buying it for Lewis Oil, Al. How much do you want for it, huh? Josh, I wouldn't sell you this if you were the last man on Earth. Oh, you really? You don't want to yes. give up the place where you were developing a perfume for the most vile woman Josh, in the I'll world? No! Get away from me! About Annie. I'll be yeah. damned if you won't! Annie and I would be on our honeymoon right oh. now if it weren't for you and that hag you live with. What did you, you know? say? I said the hag. What did you, 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 you heard? You damn no. you, Alan! Damn you to hell! This is all your fault! It's all your fault! No! Annie! She killed her! No! Don't! You're Michelle's doctor? Well, I was. The night that you were on the phone, Michelle didn't know what to do, so she passed me off as her boyfriend. And what you... I wasn't crazy to... about it either, but she was upset, in a panic, so I went along with it. And why was she upset? Michelle didn't want you to...